Alright guys, Diecast Mania here with a quick review of the CCM Caterpillar PM465 milling machine made in 187th scale. So this model is long discontinued and highly sought after. Uh, they released it in somewhere between 1995 and uh, 2000. It was part of a 12 piece set that was um, CCM's first leap into the Caterpillar stuff. Uh, so they did this nice big uh, 187 scale set. So they only sold them to certain uh, collectors. I guess um, they were so limited. They made about a thousand of each pieces. Um, so there we go. On to the review. PM465 Caterpillar. Uh, I got this one from a um, train collector off of his layout for twelve dollars. They usually go from four hundred dollars new in box. This model is kind of um, not really simple but uh, simple in terms of uh, movement. I believe this one's supposed to go up but I think he just super glued it in position uh, so it wouldn't keep falling down when it's on a flat car. It's got these nice little um, legs I guess when you rest it down. Here's the underneath. You got that nice milling head. You got that conveyor. Some really nice brass screening down here. This is an all brass model. The conveyors look excellent. As you can see, the little tracks don't work, but they do pivot like that. So when you're going over a um, curb or something, you know, you can have it displayed like that. They each move independently. Well, they each. Uh, swing like that and I think this one is model number 422 cool this one's got really nice detailing these are perforated I don't know if these are supposed to be painted black really nice brass uh, hand railing very in scale really crisp decaling and there's another look at the conveyor and these are actually brass um, brass uh, cables these ones are a little mangled because they've been sitting on the train layout before I picked it up very nice and uh, you can see the tiny simulated uh, cylinders so this is more of a showpiece model than anything else uh, one of my uh, preferred places to put it on is my low bed, the uh, 187 scale Trail King made by Scott and tow it behind my Max Superliner. So it, it fills it up very nicely and if you wanted to see my Max Superliner here it is custom built. Well anyway there you go thanks for watching and uh, also uh, this video was requested by uh, Tommy Strobel I think that's how you say it sorry if I said it wrong but uh, for those of you that aren't subscribed to him, I suggest you uh, go ahead, click the link down below, and uh, go ahead and watch some of his videos. He's got some uh, really nice models and uh, very nice reviews, uh, brief and to the point. So there you go. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and uh, bye.